All right, so I want to find the equation of a tangent line to the rational function x minus 1 over x minus 2 at 3, 2. 3, 2 is in the domain. Do we agree? The domain of that function is all, all reals except 2. Okay? So I know in my head again, I picture in my head this graph where I'm moving q back to p, right? And I'm taking the limit of that function. And I didn't even graph the rational function this time. I'm not even going to bother. In fact, I'm going to minimize this again because I don't need this. So I start from this function. First thing I have to do is simply put the functions in place. Substitute a plus h and a and have the proper signs. And again, I can't plug zero in. So I'm going to have to do the algebra. We have to get like two algebra two students to sit next to us to make sure we don't make math mistakes, okay? So I see this expression. I'm going to need a common denominator, guys. Every time we got to have a numerator and denominator. Right now I have a fraction over a fraction. I have to make this into one term. All right. So that said, I'm going to start by finding the common denominator. All right. And when I do that, it gets ugly fast. Do we agree? But you everybody see that a plus h minus 2 and a minus 2? And I found the common denominators and I wrote the expression. The big step I like to do next is I can now make this at least into a numerator and denominator. I can bring up by multiplying both by 1 over h and 1 over h, top and bottom, right? Canceling the bottom one, and it leaves me this big expression here, which I still have to simplify. All right. So if I blow this up, I think I lost the yeah, I got to write the h back. In. So I'm sitting right now, right here. All right. So now I have to multiply the two binomials and trinomials. I have to multiply these out. Okay? And again, here I go. If I multiply these out, I think it's this. I haven't checked yet. If I have made a math mistake, it's going to appear here right now. Alright? But listen, you notice how I put all of this in parentheses down here to make sure I distribute my negative properly. Okay, everybody? So now I'll distribute the negative in a different color. Negative a, negative ah, positive 2a, positive a, positive h, negative 2. And I'm now going to go through, and in the numerator, everything that does not have an h should cancel. a squared, negative a squared. Negative 2a, positive 2a. ah, 2h, negative a, positive a. Positive 2, negative 2. Now, does anything... And listen... Now I keep checking. A H is due cancel. And that's it. I'm down to just negative 2 H, right guys? So all of that. Oh, negative 2 H and a positive H. So I end up with negative H. So I'll rewrite this. Limit as H goes to zero of negative 2 H plus H is negative 1 H over. that. And now what happens? I can cancel the H. You guys agree? And I can now insert 0 for H, can't I? Because the denominator is no longer 0. And I get this is equal to negative 1. This goes to 0. So I think it becomes A minus 2 quantity squared. A minus 2, A minus 2. All right, and again, remember I said you start these problems, you forget what you're doing because it took so long to get here. So now we go to a single page because I don't remember the point. 3, 2, point 3, 2. So I have A equals 3 this time. I plug that in to find my slope. Negative 1 over, ha, 3 minus 2 squared. How about negative 1 is the answer for the slope? And now, finally, I have the point, 3, 2. I have the slope of the tangent line at that point, negative 1. So I'll write the equation of the line using point-slope form. 
y minus 2 equals negative 1, x minus 3. Did anybody get that to check me off? All right, I got a partner. Boom. All right. Right here. Okay, so I'm going to window in there. Um, so you're talking way down right there. All right. Right now, Sam, the reason you can't put up a little more. Right here. 